The Segway GT2, one of the reasons why I would recommend this scooter over the Emotion RAS, the Wolf King GTR, or even the Apollo Pro, is because of the price that this thing is currently at right now and for what it has to offer. What's up, guys? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Skizzy, we're here. Uh, we just finished some work. I'm on the Segway GT2. I'll probably answer some questions today. I hope you guys are doing well. those days it was hot and now it's cold and now it's cold again but we're just commuting today with the Segway GT2 as you guys already know um, I use these scooters no matter how much they cost on a daily basis so today I have the Segway GT2 I'm using it to do some work I guess since it's so windy, I might not be talking as I'm riding, and I probably want to get off this lane because, like I said, we live in California, and uh, this guy is a little bit crazy, especially with a Segway GT2. It's not fast enough uh, to really keep up with the crazy traffic that LA has, so I will be moving. Segway GT2, one of the things about it is that it's so stable and I wish it just goes faster. But even at the top speed of 40 something, I would say 41, sometimes you might get that, you might not. 40 something miles an hour. Uh, this street looks pretty crazy. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the sidewalk so I can talk to you guys because if I'm trying to keep up with these cars, I won't be able to talk to you guys. So the Segway GT2. It's so stable at high speed, I just wish that it goes a little bit faster. And uh, that would have made this thing one of the best electric scooters uh, out there. Uh, let me move to the side. It would have made this scooter one of the best scooters out there if the top speed was a little bit higher. Since the top speed is not that much, it kind of makes it difficult for you to commute on some places. I don't want to go this fast on the sidewalk. I don't like that. There's too many bumps and too many unpredictable stuff. So, to see him in, in my front right now, if I'm going on super fast and I'm going up this bump, that would have been really bad. So I don't like to go fast on sidewalks, so it's always good for you to kind of take it slow. I'm going to go to eco mode right now, and I'm just going to cruise. The Segway GT2, one of the reasons why I would recommend this scooter over the Emotion RAS, the Wolf King GTR, or even the Apollo Pro, is because of the price that this thing is currently at right now, and for what it has to offer. The Segway GT2 is completely stable. And it's a solid electric scooter right off the bat. I'm over here like with my hat hanging. <laughs> this is a very stable electric scooter that you're ever going to get right off the box. The stem right here is super steady. And uh, everything is rock solid. I mean, the only complaint you're really going to have is going to be that suspension. 
and uh, make sure you check your brakes so the brakes right here make sure you check them some of them are soft and they have issues so if you are planning on getting this only a few things that i can think of and that's the shocks and uh, these brakes if you're not you know kind of carrying this uh too much it will be that it's super long and uh, the folding mechanism when you actually fold this thing when you fold it down there's no place to actually lock it and that's the only thing but i like the fact that it's so easy to fold and easy to just bring up and you go it's so fast unlike the the wolf king gtr and the emotion areas the folding mechanism on those things like to the latch and all that takes way too much time and takes way too much time the segway is, is more faster quicker if you're on the go you need to go you just get on it and you go it's pretty fast uh, to to take down and, and put it back up now of course the wolf king gtr has a latch so when you actually fold it it locks onto the deck so the this arm won't be swinging left and right but another thing is once you fold the wolf king gtr it's actually a longer scooter very long and heavy uh, if you think that the segway gt2 is heavy the wolf king gtr is even heavier and the emotion areas is also heavier but then again those scooters are also faster than the gt2 so you see how that car is flying and there's a red light there's like there's a red light where are you going that's why i didn't want to get on this road i'd rather go on the sidewalk man safety first anytime that you don't feel safe on the road get off the road get on the sidewalk your life is always more important if a cop is gonna bother me let them bother me i'd rather not die today uh, <laughs> so that's me but anyways there's a lot of things about the segway gt2 that you will come to appreciate once you get this electric scooter the wolf king gtr the emotion rex these are good scooters but he also has some drawbacks i don't think there's there really any perfect electric scooter that's out there uh, the apollo pro might come close to actually being perfect because it's portable but i'm not sure if when it folds it actually locks to the deck because the Apollo Pro is another thing that might come close to the Segway GT2 when it comes to an electric scooter that you can just get on on it and go because the folding mechanism on the Apollo Pro is very similar to the Segway GT2 even though the one on the Segway GT2 is more robust uh, way, it looks way beefier, way stronger uh, than the one on the Apollo Pro uh, I still think they share the, uh, the same similarities. So it's the same like you, pe you pull it up and you unlock it. So they have the same thing. So that's why... I just gotta make sure. Alright. So that's why I would definitely uh, recommend the Segway GT2. You guys know, <laughs> I don't have any special offer with... Uh, with Segway and uh, even if I did it still wouldn't matter I would still be telling you guys what I'm telling you guys right now let's get on the road a little bit this place seems a little bit slower but it is LA man don't ever assume that stuff um, they're always in a rush to go nowhere bike lane here I can get on so we can increase the speed a little bit it is stable man stable very stable at high speed even when you're going through a bunch of bumps I think I'm losing the bicycle lane over here
truck. It was really annoying. Unless I'm going against the wind here. It's not going that fast. Like 43. Yeah, that's the only thing about this scooter that I don't like is the top speed. I really wish it went faster. Because this scooter would be a beast on the road. The Segway GT2 would be unstoppable if this thing actually reached like 55 or something like that. Yo, it would be unstoppable. Right now I'm actually in race mode and still not achieving that much high speed. That hill is probably gonna be annoying. The battery right now is at 70%, but going up this hill, ha, that looks crazy. That looks insane. But let's see, let's see how it's going to do going up this hill. That's a really big hill. It's doing 41 right now. I hope it makes it all the way up there. It's slowing down. It's slowing down. It's slowing down. Can he do it? Can he do it? Can he do it? 20 miles. 20 miles. <laughs> that bad. That bad. Not bad at all. You still made it up here. I thought it wasn't gonna make it, man, but he did make it up here, which is good. <laughs> For a minute right there, I thought it wasn't gonna make it. Another one. He made it up here a little bit way faster. When you lower your center of gravity. When you lower your center of gravity, I think uh, it helps to reduce the wind resistance and uh, you get a little bit more speed just in case if you didn't know that. And subscribe.